Hello everyone, hope everyone's doing okay. I'm Chili Mango and we are continuing to play The Long Dark. So from last time we are at Pepper's Cache. We're going to take our time looting here and then make our way down to the cave, which is not too far away. Then we'll go to the Red Barn. We'll see where we're up to, what we've got, how heavy we are. Possibly stay there for the night and then we'll be heading back to the farmhouse and then to Mystery Lake. So as we can see, we're doing quite well. We've got quality tools in last run. Uh, we found another jerry cam, which is always helpful. Without further ado, let's get to it. Great, so uh, last time we were in here, we didn't loot anything. I just had a little look around. That'll come in handy. Accelerant, nice. <laughs> so we will light a fire um, just before this goes out. So that we can get a few more torches. Soda, always welcome. There is a possibility that there's some things in this crate, but we'll have to come back another time and have a look at those. So we're gonna cook this rabbit, make some more water. Then I will probably let this fire go out. Because I don't want to keep it going all night. Come on, little fire. Oh, no. And that's why we... Hear that wolf. I'm just gonna use that to get this going. Just in case there is a wolf around. See if we can actually lower that roof, and I can show you how to actually scare them away. I did hear it, so it's obviously nearby. Be a little wolfy. So um, our scent is not too strong. Maybe best doing that another time. So, let's get some more to cooking. Double check if we've got any water tablets. We do, we've got two, so that's fine. So, let's get harvesting. Gonna do that with my hands. No point using the tool at this moment. And then drop that back. And then we'll put that there. So it's half an hour. Half an hour. It's almost like a planet it that way. Thank you. 
power. That's fine. And we've eaten a little bit, so we're not taking any more damage. Poor rabbit. So let's use those tablets. So, if you harvest a torch, you get a stick pack. So, I might as well. So, we should have actually dropped all of this stuff. Because now we don't stink. Well, do some Feels like night is coming. I could eat anything right now. His own pee doesn't seem so crazy right now. So how much water do we have? So we've got quite a lot. And we've got some food. So we're actually just going to run around here and get ourselves nice. I, I need to lay down. I'm tired. I don't know if this helps, but I just feel like we get a better night's sleep. Or at least to be able to sleep longer. Feels like a lot of gear. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to fast forward time. Oh, that makes me angry. Let's drink. And then let's double check. There's nothing wrong with us. <laughs> and then 10 hours. We should be okay. We should be warm enough in here. as well. Have one of those so we get some calories. I need anything right about now. Perfect. So we're looking pretty good. So we are heavy. I might leave some stuff here and make a note. 
did make a note of our last provisions at Pleasant Valley. I've been so hungry so in my life. TV cash. Clothes. Oh, that's nice about clothes. Just so we can get rid of a bit of weight. And we're not going to use these anyway. These will only be good for when we need some more cloth and some more leather. stuff on me. Should have dropped those seconds, shouldn't I? So they at least could have been curing a little bit while I slept, but never mind. It's okay. on down here, make our way to the cave, loot that. It's always good to uh, listen out to the sounds of this game. It gives you clues to where things are. That can be wolves, it can be deer, bears, moose. It can just give you a little My bit more before it actually sneaks upon you. Some more rabbits. Might get those. Just because I think I'm going to try and eat a little bit today. Get our health back up to 100%. So this is the cave over here. So cold. Just want to lay down for a bit. I'd like to just get... Hold on side. Should we see if we can get a little bit further? Gear starting to slow me down. So we all will smell now, so just have to be careful with that roof. Let's drop that action. Mr. Rabbit run away. Yay, another flask. Two down. Mr. Rabbit, he can live to fight another day. Can you eat trees? Get in here, and we can warm up. Drop those, just drop, drop our heavier items. Just as we go in here and loot. Gonna drop that one. Good to about that. Right. We'll come back for you. Cold. So this is the 
stuff that will keep us warm. I need more of that. Let's. side of this so if you walk straight through here you will be wet what you can do is just so you can put back on all your warm clothes sorry will let's take off all of his clothes so basically when we walk through we're obviously at a hypothermia risk now but by putting all of these back on None of our clothes are wet. So it means we'll warm up a lot quicker. And we're not walking around. Ooh, a coffee. Just what I need. First one. Very nice. So we'll keep that. I'm just out of Ooh, this stuff. Lots of goodies. So we'll uh, keep that coffee just if we get into a pickle. almost anything about now. Right, so we're, I'm going to go through now with all my clothes on and I'll show you what happens. Damn it. Up to my ankles. So now if we have a look, quite a lot of our clothes are now wet. So we are going to light a fire. So nothing too much to worry about. We can warm ourselves up. The only issue is, if you are wet and you're sleeping outside, you're sleeping in a bedroll in a cave, or you're freezing, you can get frostbite from that. So you just need to be careful about having wet clothing. Gonna cook some rabbits. Looks like I say, I'd like to get our health up a bit more. That just came out. And I'll harvest this stuff before I start my fire. Starting to weigh me down. Ooh, big rabbit. Not so much difference there, is there? So there's usually kind of thirsty. funny carcasses dotted around all of my maps. Or I've hunted rabbits and then left them in places to cure. I did it. Don't, don't want to light that. So 
So just put one coal on there and just look how quickly that heat outputs. My stomach feels like an empty pit. The coal is brilliant for warming up. Look, still going. One piece of coal, that. Yeah, so that, that increased by 20 Celsius. So coal is brilliant. So I would always kind of recommend... Oh, I could do that. Uh, I would always recommend having a few pieces of coal on, so that's what we're going to do as well. Right, let's uh, carry on. So I'm nice and toasty. And then let's boil that water. Good wrong. Should we see? Gonna see. She, yeah, she, should we see if we can get that other rabbit? Yeah, Mr. Rabbit. Hmm. Have you run away? I think he has. Oh, that's it. We're all good. So yeah, well that's all doing. So as you can see, because we're close to the fire, everything's drying out. I harvest that because it's quite low condition. We need a little bit more on there. Nice. Right, let's get going. To the barn we go. All this gear is slowing me down. So unfortunately, he will be complaining of this. a while now of being too heavy. Right. So you can't go down there because that is a dead end. So we're going to have to go this way. So yeah, we are very heavy. Uh, have to excuse me because this might be a little bit painful but I don't want to leave anything behind. blow out my torch. Oh, there you go. Right. Gonna get this out. So, we have two different types of... Oh, there you go. Right. With us being heavy, we're gonna deal with this wolf. So, we're safe now. This wolf can't do anything to us. So, can you see? Oh, it's true. So, if you saw what happened then, because I had this light source, they wouldn't come any nearer to me. And because there was a light or a fire between me and the wolf, uh, if I get a weapon out or a stone, it basically scares them. And there we go. Oh, and he's back. Again, showing you the message. So, you're pretty safe. 
you've got a flare on or you've got a torch and you're safe. The great thing about the flares <laughs> is they don't blow out if it's windy, which is our issue. Drop. <laughs> things that make you smell. So I shouldn't smell them. Come on, Mr. Wolves. I feel like they're picking on me now. At least you can see this method works. So I think there's some cars down here, so I think we'll head down here, get into the cars. And then uh she needs to be careful. We might end up using a couple of flares. Mm, the weather is changing. This is because I was like, there's no, there's no wolves in Pleasant Valley. There's none. And now, they're proving me wrong. <laughs> Where is that wolf I can hear him? Just goes to show that flares can save your life. So do you think we could dilly go? Right, let's get rid of this roof. Please leave me alone. So it just goes to show, you do not need to panic when you're around wolves. So if you've got a flare or you've got a torch, <laughs> see that then. So if we go in the shade with our flare, we warm up. You see, we're warming up now because we're not in the wind. So it mustn't be. Yes, it wasn't too cold when it was 18. I think it's still too windy for this. Yes, it is. That's it. Anyway, that's why you should always keep some around with you. Keep some flares. The blue ones are usually used for timber wolves. Littering. I'm terribly sorry. Um, the red ones are just normal. The blue ones are usually used for timber wolves. So I'm going to see if I can Billy go down here. Okay. I'm gonna 
need to eat soon. Okay. So you really go to and you just need to plan your journey. You can take little falls, but try to avoid it. Right in a crevice. Steep. Yes, as I was saying, over there is the birch forest. So we head that way and we should be in the right direction. Oh, we're warming up. That's great. Oh, no, we're gone cold again. It's very fickle this weather. Sorry, apologies for that. So, uh, yep, the uh, weather is a little bit fickle here, but we're going to head over to this birch forest. That should be in the direction of the barn. The red barn that we saw when we were coming into Pleasant Valley. So we're going to get so as much. Cold. So we're going to get as much uh, birch bark as we can. It can help us recover some of our health that we've been losing with all this cold weather. Birch bark's quite good. Basically any tea, so the mushroom tea, the rose hips tea, does actually give you calories. So it's a good source of food if you're in a little um, pickle or you're a bit scarce on food or something like that. So we are going to pick up some birch bark, not only to help. Oh, I see Mr. Bear. Gotta eat soon. So look at my top finger. It's just there. So Mr. Bear does live in this birch forest or around it. And there's also a potential spawn for a moose. So we just need to be careful. There's some birch bark there. So you need two to make a tea. like stood still. Creepy. Hmm. So he's aggroed on us now. So I just was a little, little bit too near. And there's a moose! <gasps> interesting so <laughs> we're just gonna back away so that's good to know there's a moose and I'm just trying to get them both in the shop yep a moose and a bear
they're still heading towards me. It doesn't sound like it's aggroed on me though, with the music. But we're not going to take any chances. So this is a very dangerous spot right now. We are quite low on health, so we're literally just going to go straight to the red barn, I think. Could you imagine if I'd had a bow? Or if I'd had a rifle? Oh, it would have been fun. see a wolf. Top finger, just walking along there. So I just need to be wary. So s I do know that on Stoker there are some arrows that are embedded into this target and if you're on the wall, uh, not the wall, the trees on the back. Doesn't look like it. Just getting. And in we go. Safe. stuff. Yep. Get those curing. Right. Let's have a little look around, shall we? I can break them down with my hands. So up here there is a guaranteed stim which we're going to collect, very important. Archery book, that's good. I'm not going to take that spray can, we've got loads. And here it is. The emergency stim. So it's always worth coming in there to have a look. See if you can find that. Right, 
Okay. Really good run. So, uh, we made it. We are quite low on health, but not too much. So I think we're going to call it there, I think, for today. Just go back out and take a look. Yeah, it's weather's getting a bit blusterous. So, yeah, we're going to stay here. So, brilliant. Thank you very much, everyone. Really good run. So we're going to continue, go back to the farmhouse, and then we're on our way to Mystery Lake. So thank you for everybody for watching, hope you have a good day, and see you next time. Goodbye.